guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Designs by Stephanie. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as part of the family. Just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. Today, I am going to talk about my efforts or my decision to go back into trying to lose weight i did the keto i think this i started this time last year i usually start like a few months before my birthday because it's always my birthday goal to lose some weight then i lose it then i gain it back so i think last year i got down to uh maybe 157 155 somewhere around that and i stayed pretty much stayed around there probably got back up to about 158 159 i just came back from vacation so always on vacation i gained five pounds so this morning when i weighed myself i was 162.5 so that's where we're going to start at but the majority of that is from eating bad and a whole lot of drinking i went to brazil um to rio for a week for the fourth of july so video is coming on that soon if you'd like to see it comment below and let me know i took a cooking class i did some tours so comment below and let me know what you want to see and i'll make sure that i get that up in the video so what i'm going to do let me get it up i'm using the app to track i'm trying to lose i'm at 162 i want to get down when i lost my weight of four years ago i got all the way down to 152 i couldn't get any lower than that i was trying to get to 145 so my ultimate goal is 145 but i would be very 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 happy with 150 so i have 10 weeks until my birthday my birthday is well probably 11 weeks but it's the middle of the week my birthday is 9 28 so i want to i want to at least be at 150 i even take 152 so we'll say 10 pounds but i won't lose 15 pounds between now and then so i'm using the app my fitness pal and i'm going to put it up on the screen but I, my fitbit is it keeps acting up i send it back i might have to send it back again but i used the my fitness pal i'm going to open it up and i'm going to put it up on the screen because i've learned how to do a screenshot where you can see everything you're doing on the screen so yeah record so i have the my fitness pal app and i have my goal set at 120 calories you can set that up and go into it and set it up however you want to you go in and put in your age requirements and where you are now and what you want to lose. So I'm going to, I need to put in my weight for today because I have not put that in. I want to do weight. So you go under your um, progress, you hit the plus sign and you put 162, exactly 162.5 because my scale does that so i'm going to check that off and add the progress and i went up from the last time that i put it in because the last time i was at 158.8 to 159 so that's where i've been hanging out around that time and it's time for my cycle as well so i usually you know at that time of day right before you come on i'm supposed to come on probably the day or tomorrow um so it usually fluctuates one or two pounds when i was in weight watchers i really noticed that so i know that it's a thing and the last time i lost all that weight i was on weight watchers but i'm not going to do weight watchers now i'm not going to do keto what i'm going to try to do is try to eat more whole foods balanced meals i'm still not 100 percent vegan i'm still eating fish i'm not gonna lie i'm still eating fish and I eat cheese occasionally. I don't eat a lot of cheese. I still I buy vegan cheese most of the time. I buy vegan butter. I buy vegan milk. And I cook a lot of... I, I'm trying to get away from tofu, but I cook a lot of tofu. What else? I'm just going to try to eat more healthier, more whole vegetables. Do more of... I don't really fry things, but... I, well, I won't say that I do fry things. And I do use my grill that's on top of my stove. But I'm going to try to eat more vegetables, um, better grains eat oatmeal in the morning and I love oatmeal but I don't eat it every day because sometimes I don't have time to cook it and sometimes I don't want to cold and do the overnight oats but I'm going to try to do more meal prep so I'm going to have more meal preps coming and we'll track my progress every week or every two weeks I don't know which one it's going to be and I'm going to just post the videos on both of my channels so the Stephanie's Journeys channel as well as the designs by Stephanie so I'm not sure which one you're watching this on but it'll be on both so i'm recording on here and i've got the talking but i put my weight in and then it'll tell you 
you can go into your diary. And I haven't put my food in today, but for this morning, I had a, that was yesterday, I say fish. I took my Zyrtec, and I had a banana, and I had some water, and that's all. And it's time to eat again. And that's not a lot, but I don't eat a lot for breakfast anymore. I eat oatmeal, or I eat a banana, or I eat some nuts. No matter nuts. So that's all I've had today. And I've had about 8 ounces of water. Maybe, no, probably 20. Whatever the bottle is. 16 ounces. So I'm going to add my water. And that is it. So you're just tracking on here every day. I love this app. I actually have the upgraded version. Because when I was doing keto, I needed to track my macros. I'm not going to really be doing that this time. But I still have the upgraded version. And... You can put notes in here of, you know, your food or your exercise or what have you. You can link your um, Fitbit to this app. You can look at your nutritional stats for each day, like yesterday. I, I didn't eat that much yesterday because my stomach was messed up. But I did eat some salmon and some sauerkraut, banana, nuts. I really didn't eat much at all the day before. I ate really bad. Um... But yeah, that is all, and it breaks it down by breakfast, a morning, or you can look at your calories here, you can look at your nutrients, and it breaks it down that way, or you can look at your macros, and it breaks it down this way, and this way I got the updated version, so that I can look at my macros, and it still has it in there, like for uh, keto, which I'm not going to do, because I struggle with that a lot. So, that is what I'm going to do. And at the end of the day, after you put all of your food in and your water, make sure you're putting your water in as well. Then you put complete dairy. It should sync with your uh, My Fitness Pal and should sync with your Fitbit if you're using Fitbit. And they have a whole lot of other apps to use as well. So, just go in there and check and see whatever you use. I'm going to get rid of my Fitbit because I keep having trouble out of it. And I think I'm going to get the Apple Watch. So, we'll see. I'll probably get that for myself for my birthday because I got my new iPad, which is behind me right there. Last year for my birthday, I think it was. But a Christmas or something. I don't know. But anyway, I always buy myself something for my birthday. Anyway, so let me stop this video. And that's all I'm going to do. So, I'm going to track my progress each week and see how I do using my app. The, my fitness pal app because I do love it. I swear by it. I wish it was possible with me, but of course, my channel is too little and they are not. But if anybody uses this app, comment below and let me know how you like it. I freaking love it. I've tried a bunch of them. Oh, when even when I was doing Weight Watchers, you know, they give you the Weight Watchers app. Didn't care for it that much. I would put my stuff in there to track it, but I would actually put it in my my fitness pal because I think it gave me better results it, it broke it down better for me to know what was as far as what I was eating and like when I was when I was and wasn't losing weight based on exercises I was doing a lot of exercise and I think when I exercise I was doing walking and jogging then and I probably was getting in about 15,000 steps a day now if I get 7,000 which is now my goal I'm doing good because yeah i'm working from home now so i don't get out a lot and it's hot as hell in georgia so going outside walking is horrible but there's no excuse because i do have a treadmill and an elliptical so there's no excuse i'm just being lazy but it's hot it's even hot in the house when you exercise in the house but anyhow that is it for my journey i'm going to try to lose by 9 28 which i think my birthday is on a saturday so by that Wednesday, so that'll be an equal amount of 10 weeks or that might be 11 weeks. I don't know. I think it's 11, 10 or 11 weeks. I'm going to say 10 because I'm going to try to get it done before I go on my birthday trip wherever I decide to go. But anyway, that is it. If you have a fitness goal that you're trying to reach, comment below and let me know what yours are. Maybe we can do this thing together. And yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. If you have any questions, comment, or concern, list them below. I'll be sure to respond. I respond to all of my questions and responses. So, yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by. And I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>